Hey. <laughs> we are sick. sick waiting. You're watching San Diego Punk. 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 Com. So you guys have just done a couple dates with 88 Fingers Louie. Now, how has that been? Like, has that been pretty rad for you guys? It's been awesome. Uh, they hit us up back in like February about just doing like one show, and then uh, I was like, well, you know, why don't we do all the shows? Like, <laughs> you know, help book them and, and kind of put this thing together. So we did, and spent a lot of time on it, and it's turned out really great. We did LA on Wednesday, the Viper Room, and it was packed. It sounded great. We did um, Alex's bar yesterday in Long Beach, and that sold out. And tonight here at Soda Bar in San Diego, and then tomorrow in Vegas at uh, Triple B. So it's been great, man. They're really good guys. Very Chicagoan. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. They're great. Now I know you. We we just interviewed them earlier, and you kind of told them about uh, Luigi's Pizza. Has there been any other yeah. California things that you guys have introduced those guys to since they're not super <laughs> acclimated? <laughs> Plenty to the elder. San Diego scene. Plenty the elder. Well, they went to Ballast Point today. Ballast Point Brewery yeah, in San yeah. Diego. And, did they uh, go to the beach? They, were saying they, they, they did the go beach. to the beach in, in their jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice, classic. Because they don't have a beach in Chicago. I don't know if you know that. But uh, they don't have any beaches. But there's no beaches in Chicago? No, Chicago is landlocked. It's in the center of the country. It's in Illinois, which is also in the center of the country. With well, Chicago. Well, folks, you heard it here first. Yeah. yeah. There's no... I thought they, I I thought they dyed the ocean green there. <laughs> don't they do that? In Actually, their, their DM, Bob, is in charge of like keeping the water clean in Chicago. <laughs> So they were telling Union. us, yeah, they, were telling, Union. they were telling us about the city, and somebody was like, yeah, and we have like this lake or something or on the shore or something, and, and the water's super clean. And Bob just from the front goes, you're fucking welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's so rad. That was super funny. So um, now going back to actually like your guys' day to day in terms of playing, what is all your guys' favorite songs to play? It doesn't have to be your favorite song you guys play, but just one you enjoy the most playing live. I enjoy Lines in the Road. We didn't play that tonight, <laughs> but we're going to play it tomorrow, maybe twice. Oh, cool. Thanks. Twice. Thanks, man. Uh, I'm play it here. This tour, my favorite song to play is, is the song that we're covering by No Use Renee, Justify Black Guy. Yeah, and going from an audience perspective, we just saw them play. Mm -hmm. That was such a great cover and such a great tribute to Tony Sly. You guys gave a shout out to him. Mm -hmm. And that meant a lot. I saw a lot of faces kind of light up when you guys played it. So that, that meant a lot to everyone. That's that, a lot of fun that, was, to play. that was a good call. Mine is a part of everyone's disease, which we played tonight instead of Lines in the Road. And that was the that was the deal I made with Jared. If you want me to play on this tour, we gotta play that shit that song every night. I need Wait, shit that song every three minutes. minutes. <laughs> I think mine would have to be the cell just because it's just a fucking rad ass fast paced song where it's Playing drums, it's the best time. We're all just super fast songs. Yeah, just every Whatever fast gets song. Whatever the fastest, yeah. the best one to play. Yeah. yeah, what's the BPM on that? Okay, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah 250? Alright, yeah, that one. Cool. That's done in less than a minute? Alright, let's do it. <laughs> for sure. Now, this is basically a hometown gig. It is a hometown gig for you yeah. guys. Now, how's it feel to come out? I know when I came to this show, it was, it's all friends from all over. I mean, we had a bunch of local bands play before we had yeah. old news and, and cast off. You guys. And how, how rad is that just every time coming to that scene, our scene, and just seeing all those friends, and like what's that like compared to maybe places you've played where there's there's not people you know regularly? It's a lot of fun. I mean, you know, we play a lot of, well, we used to play a lot of local shows. Now we mostly just do uh, tour stuff, but coming back through San Diego is awesome, especially on a tour like this, because it's like uh, better <laughs> than the local shows that we play. Nobody comes to our local shows. But it's fun, it's proud, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of pride in it because we put a lot of work into the tour and into getting the band to a point where we're on tour with a band like fucking 88 Fingers Louie. Yeah. And uh, so to come back and like see everybody and, and be able to be a part of something like this that everybody really appreciates a lot, the 88, you know, coming through is, is really cool. Yeah, I mean, and this is an historic event. This is the first time 88 Fingers Louie has ever played in San Diego yeah. and they're on the bill. So this is an epic night right now. So that being said, what do you have to say to your local fans or the local watchers slash listeners slash viewers of San Diego Punk? Do you guys have any final words to say to those those fans or those friends? I'd probably just say thanks for sticking around. <laughs> it's been 16 years that this band has been going on. That's a long fucking time. Too long, yeah. in my opinion. But <laughs> just, you know, thanks for 
in here. There are people that come to shows that were going to the shows in the year 2000. Yeah. Like a few. So, I don't know. It's just cool that people still kind of follow along and watch you know, what we're trying to do, I guess. And then come out and actually enjoy it. And they know a lot of the new shit too, which is really cool. Like they're not stuck in yeah. a certain era or on a certain record. And uh, yeah, just thanks for sticking around. For sure. Now, the big question, who's the biggest drinker of you guys? You guys always talk about how who drinks the most. Who's the biggest drinker? Andrew. Is it Andrew? Yeah. Are we gonna do shots after this? Uh, not me. <laughs> I think it's the biggest talker. Definitely not me. The biggest talker is the biggest drinker. <laughs> <laughs> biggest talker, but who's the biggest? The guy walker. holding the drink I'm the biggest in his everything. hand. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's, that's a height issue, though. That's not even fair. I wasn't even talking about that. Oh. I was talking about. It's a dick joke. Tripping yeah. over his junk is what he's talking about. Yeah. Someone's yeah. compensating. It's hard to walk sometimes. That's why I have to wear skinny jeans so it holds it up. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first. Why can't we just do that right away? I mean, you start with the dick joke and then it sets the stage, you know? Everything's a dick joke. Everything starts and ends you, with the D. It just depends how you take it. The whole world. Yeah. The dick well, the I mean. I'm Mitch McSteamy, it. and I'm sick of waiting for the dick. <laughs> You're watching SanDiegoPunk.com. Have a good night, everyone. So you're telling me there's no beaches in San and uh, fucking. I was I just gonna ask. Hey, we're, we're sick waiting, and you're watching San Diego. Plunk. That was two words. Fucking dick. You wanna do one more? We'll do one more. <laughs> hey, we're sick waiting. You're listening. You're watching San Diego. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>